So with Phil Creator Studio mods being full release at 1.0 now, many of you have been asking for what mods might be incompatible. And while I would love to be able to tell you, here's a list of all the incompatible mods, there's just simply too many out there to test. And even if I find one that's incompatible, a week later, it might be fixed. So it works. So instead, in this video, I'm going to give you five mods that for me have never caused a problem with the Phil Creator Studios and will also add the best value in combination with them. So mod number one is going to be the building tweaks mod. This is because it lets you build places you normally wouldn't be able to. You can turn on certain overrides to be able to build a foundation floating in the air above the water. So you have more building options as far as where you build your base, which means, of course, you have more options on where you place certain things, including the stuff from the FCS mods. Mod number two is going to be the Snap Builder mod because, you know, it's nice to be able to freely place items down in our base to be able to move them where we want. But there are times where you just want something to snap in place. You want to have that nice alignment, like when you're building a big solar cluster farm. You might want all the different solar cluster items to line up a certain way. And that is where the Snap Builder mod will come in handy. Mod number three is going to be the Habitat platform. Now, this is basically the Neptune rocket platform with certain elements stripped off. So you have this floating C platform. That's really all it is. It's a base platform that you can put out there that floats on the water and you can build on it. So while it may not be a direct enhancement to the Field Creator Studios stuff, it does give you an option for new themes when you're building your bases. Do you want to have a floating solar farm at sea? Well, instead of having a floating in the air foundation platform, you can actually have a floating platform. You want to have a floating outpost that sits in the water above a underwater mining base? Then you have an option. So yes, number three, the habitat platform is just one of those that for some of you will be a good tie and other people you may not care for it mod number four is the decorations mod and that should be of no surprise because while the fill creator studio mods add a lot of decorative items that are also functional and others that just have a nice decoration the decorations mod was the original one it was the big one that has been around for a long time and many people have probably wondered and i know people have asked even in comments if it will conflict with the field creator studio mods and no i have used it for a long time use it during all the development with the fcs mods and use it now in 1.0 and it doesn't cause any problems at least for me it does for you something else is probably going wrong but that is definitely one i recommend because with everything you get from the FCS mods, you still get even more to decorate your bases with and make them feel like home. And the last mod, number five, is Easy Craft mod. This is a lifesaver mod. This is the quality of life that once you try, you cannot go back to not using it. It lets you take anything in your base storage and treat it like it's in your inventory when you're building with the habitat builder which is amazing or creating stuff with the fabricator even and for a while it was an incompatibility issue with the fcs mods but now it is working with 1.0 you can put stuff in your data storage and use it with your habitat builder use it with your fabricator it just works and that means all those items you get from your deep drillers going right into your data storage all that stuff from just whatever you're gathering as you generate items with your hydroponic harvesters and such all that goes in your data storage and is available for you to use with the easy craft mod now i did say this video was for five mods that i thought were great for use with the fcs mods but i do have one honorable mention that is the improved power network mod now the reason this is not part of the main set and just kind of the extra mention at the end is because it's a little bit of an overlap with the functionality from the FCS mods. For the most part, you're probably going to be using the FCS power production stuff and the power pylons to transmit power between your different base locations. But in the event that you decide you will have a widespread single area of one base with multiple different spots where power is being produced, instead of using the vanilla 
power transmitters, get the improved power network and let it help with those. But otherwise, I think for the most part, you'll be fine with the normal power stuff through the SCS mods. So yes, for me, these are the mods that I have had little to absolutely no issues with in conjunction with the FCS mods. They add a lot of value to the gameplay with the FCS mods, and I just felt these would be the best ones to recommend. If you're looking for something to work with the FCS mods and you wanna make sure it's compatible, start with these. Now, if you have a mod you think is a great fit, adds a certain tie-in with the Field Creator Studio mods and doesn't cause a problem, be sure to leave it in a comment below. And of course, any of the mods that I have mentioned today, you can find linked below where you can go download them.